a two-in-one event to celebrate the life of all Progressives Congress chieftain and a former governor of Ogun State, Olushe Gwashoba. The presentation of his latest book titled My Life in the Public Eye chronicling some of the most important events in his life as a public servant. The event which also serves as part of activities marking the 85th birthday of one of Nigeria's finest journalists is witnessed by dignitaries led by Nigeria's Vice President Kashim Shetima representing his boss Paula Tinubu. Straight to business, because the book publisher now, welcomes guests with a brief introduction of the memoir and the motivation behind it. My life in the public eye provides fresh and independent assessments of what Battle Lines offers. Because Battle Lines came out a week to his 80th birthday in 2019, my life in the public eye captures public perception of who Olusha Gumoshoba is. The introductory remarks open the floodgate of goodwill messages. Olushegu Oshoba, my great Anno, I call him, has had a very distinguished journalistic career. I remember fondly the days, his days in the Daily Times. He helped to shape the Daily Times to become, at the time, one of the most read newspapers in the country. This is a great day, and I must be here to, uh, to celebrate your 85th birthday, and I wish you all the, all the very, very best. And I can tell you, sir, I will continue to be part and parcel of your family till, the, till death do us apart. On behalf of the good people of Lagos State and the governor of Lagos State, I'd like to wish our father a very happy birthday. May God continue to be with you, guide you, and as you have consistently do well in terms of your writings, your discussions about this country, may all those good things come to pass. More pouring. They are as diverse as the crowd of guests capturing the wide network of influence possessed by the former governor. On behalf of your younger brothers, members of the class of 1999, and I think um, our judge, Judge Akuma is here. Um, Ni Adebayo is here. Alaji Moazu is here. And those that are not present, we want to wish you well. Many more years of service to humanity. We trust that you will continue to guide our nation. This occasion celebrates intellect, patriotism, hard work, perseverance, diligence, humility, consistency as the principles and disciplined lifestyle of the Akirogu of Egbaland. These attributes are worthy of emulation and will continue to be reference points for successful generations. You have shown love to all Nigerians, irrespective of tribe, irrespective of religion, irrespective of their own ethnic affiliations. On behalf of the good people of the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and National Assembly as a whole, we extend our deepest gratitude to God Almighty first for keeping you alive with your dear family, keep making you strong, prospering your family. No tragedy will come near you. Then, it is the turn of Vice President Shetima to deliver the message of his you, boss, Bola Tinobu. Before making his comment, he asks all present in the hall to spare a moment in remembrance of the victims of the just building collapse. May the souls of the deceased rest in perfect peace. He then proceeds to deliver the president's message, praising Oshoba for his life of sacrifice for Nigeria's unity. One of his most notable achievements was his role as a leading figure in Nadeko, where he fought for democracy alongside others. We owe him a debt of gratitude for his sacrifices. I would like to take this opportunity 
to thank him once again for documenting his journey and experiences. His life will be a source of inspiration and hope for generations to come. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. When Abata was after me, he was the one who organized my hiding place for over a year. So my, I'm living today uh, to the memory. Where is Leko, Leko Adigu? I'm living today because he hit me and Sergeant Rogers three times attempted to kill me. So for my survival today, Stan, I thank you very much. And I want to finish by saying our leader in Yoruba land, Baba Femi Olowo, said after darkness there will be a great dawn and a great light. I am confident after all that is going on there will be a great dawn and, and a great light in Nigeria. God bless all of you. We want you to at least have another decade so that when you are 95 all of, the, all of us here will be there. And if there is anybody here who wishes to be there when he's 95, 10 years from today, can you say, I? Aye. Yeah, and those who do not want to be there, when he's 95 years, can you say, nay? The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Talking about demonstration of love for the celebrant and how much more they still want him around and hopefully have a few more books from the former governor to help in bridging the gap between Nigeria's past and its future. Tokumbo. Oye Arise News, Lagos.